How's it going guys? So today we're going to be doing a remake of a standard 86's track, What You Waiting For? It's a remix of Masters at Work's track, Work. Here is what it sounds like. Yes baby, I like it. I want you to take a broom. Great, if you can't be asked to follow along and just want to download the project, you can get it from my Patreon, the link for that is below. Both of the bases used in this track are from my Serum Preset Pack, UK Garage Volume 1. I've had really good feedback on this pack and it's on sale at the moment for only $19.99. I'd highly recommend to get it while it's on sale. The pack's got over 50 presets for Serum, full of amazing UK Garage bases, stabs and pads everything you need to make the best UK garage. I'm gonna break down this standard 86 track into four simple steps. Step one, the drums. All we've got here is a drum loop. This is from a sample pack. I'm also gonna be doing a full tutorial on how to make speed garage drums. I'd advise you to go on Splice. There's a few uh, speed garage drum loops on there. Next, we've got the bass. It sounds like this. We start with the MIDI. As with a lot of speed garage, it's really simple. Uh, a really key takeaway is that the first note of the bar is missing and it works really well and complements the fact that in the vocal, she shouts work. So as she shouts work, that space is filled in. See, you can hear that. We're playing every quarter bar. If we go from D sharp up to A sharp to B to C sharp and then back down to B. Really simple, just climbing up the chord progression. Great guys, so to make the bass, we're using the preset Hurt Locker from my Production Heart pack. It sounds like this. We are then making a slight alteration to it. So we've got two triangles in oscillator A and oscillator B. The triangle in oscillator A is pitched down by two octaves. What we're then doing is going to LFO2, changing the envelope, put it to rate one, put it to trigger. Put this nice little curve in like so. We then want to chuck that over here, somewhere about there. What's that? What that's doing is opening up the filter envelope, uh, which means there's more high end coming in, which along with this FM, so uh, LFO1 is modulated to the FM from B, which is giving it that gritty effect. We then are driving it up. Probably best at about 30%. And yeah, all that's doing is affecting this drive here on the filter. So the more that goes up, the louder it gets. And yeah, in terms of effects, we've got this little EQ, which is boosting here, lower in there. Um, we also have this notch. So put the cut off to about 990 and drive it up. Let's lower that a little bit. Great, the next bass is in the sort of intro and is more of a Reese bass. It sounds like this. Again, from my preset pack, I've selected the Reese if bass could kill. All it is is two saw waves, uh, detuned, so minus 28, both pitched down, so they're fighting against each other. I then increase the cutoff. So it's taken out some of the low end. I've also ridden the drive up, and so is the fat. In the effects, we've got a bit of down sample, giving it that grit at the top end. A nice sort of chimey feel, and then we're also taking out a little bit of the frequencies at about 350. And then boosting a little bit of the high end. We've then got this EQ, which is taking out a little bit of the top end, and this kick start, which is obviously side chaining it to the kick. We then have that same kick start happening on the bass in the drop, as well as this drum bus, which is basically distorting it and making it louder and thicker. 
Great. What we've then got in this little breakdown, we've then got the effects. So in this little breakdown, you can hear it here. So there's also a bit of bass as well as effects. So I want you take a broom. this is just a, a sub sample from Splice, like a sub effect. Really clean, really like that. Um, and then it sort of builds a lot of tension as well. And then we've got this riser, which is from a pack that I've made, which I'll be uh, releasing soon. So yeah, it's just risers um, and then a white noise. Really simple stuff. Um, yeah, I'll be giving this away for free. That's the effects. It really helps build tension with this sub. I want you take a broom, broom, broom. We've also then got the drums with a filter on. So this is sort of part of the, uh, the build and breakdown. Um, with the filter coming up slightly, it sort of creates like a rising effect, although it's very subtle. And lastly, we've got this amazing vocal from Masters at Work. And feed my What you waiting for? Put your back in it. Just... I think any song with this vocal would be an absolute banger. So yeah, I'm happy to hear if anyone else wants to send me any links for any songs they've made with this vocal, I'd love to hear it. What we've also got in the breakdown as well, so... I want you to take a broom, 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 broom. So all we've done is chucked a delay on the word broom. Uh, we put it to a, a, a quarter note, so it hits every uh, quarter bar. Broom. But then obviously it fades out, which has a nice effect. Because if you just copy and pasted this like this, it would sound really robotic. Broom, 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 broom. Whereas this makes it sound more natural and uh, actually like a professional song. So. Great guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and hope you will soon be making UK Garage bangers. See you next time.